With Replit deployments, a reserved VM is an ideal way of getting consistent access and sole use of a server. Let's take a look at how reserved VMs can help your web app. Reserved VMs are part of Replit deployments, and they allow you to have a more consistent experience if you're doing data logging or access to your app needs to be consistent and immediate. Let's take a look at what benefits they give and how you can use them. I have here a Slack bot, which is connecting to OpenAI that my employees can ask employment questions to and get a response based on UK law. Now, that's a really handy tool to have as a Slack bot, but you don't want your users waiting disproportionate amount of times for an answer to come back. This is a perfect use case for reserved VM deployments because we need an answer in a consistent amount of time. So let's try it. So when we start at deployments, what we need to do is pick reserve VM and click continue. Now we need to pick from this model menu because these first few options are on a shared VM, which means the resources are being shared with other users and other apps. If they're taking the lion's share of those resources, you're going to struggle to do consistent logging and the activities that require consistent pinging. What we need is one of the dedicated ones. So I'm going to go for the lowest tier here and I'm going to purchase and deploy. Now, as usual, we get everything that we need in here from the primary domain, which I can set here for my test URL, but I'm going to connect it to a real domain in a few minutes. We can then look at the build commands, the run commands. It brings in your environment variables automatically, or you can change them or edit them. For instance, if you've got an API key that you use for prod and dev, you can change those there. And we let it know what app type we got. As this isn't a web app, we need to use the background worker are great if you've got things like Discord servers. Those things need to be up all the time, and so a reserved VM would do well for that. But once again, it's deploying. It'll take about two minutes to deploy an app like this, and we'll see how it goes. And there we go. The deployment has pushed out. So let's go and check what the difference is. Okay, so it runs really, really quickly. Let's take a look at the ping and see how consistent that would be. Now take a look at how consistent those ping times are. We're talking about a 10 millisecond mark. Let's redeploy it with a shared VM and see the difference. We can look at our history of deployments. We can see our analytics and view our logs. Now, of course, we can connect our domains as we have here. Let's shut down this deployment and try again with a reserve VM. But this time we're going to go for a shared one. I'm going to pick the same level of compute and RAM just so it's absolutely fair. And we'll ping it again in a moment and see what difference that makes. And with our deployment successful, now you see that the difference is quite stark. Although it's mainly consistent, occasionally there's just a huge number, which is when the other resources on the VM are being used by a different app. Now that's great if your app isn't required to be logging or constantly available to ping back quickly, but if it needs to be, you may be better off hosting with a reserved VM. Reserved VMs give you the consistency you need for any data logging application or where a server needs to be accessible in a consistent amount of time. Why don't you try out a reserved VM on Repit deployments and tell us what you built with it.